It's the new year. Many people have made these resolutions, yeah. right? Many Go to of the them gym. Still not sticking with it. Cut maybe. the sugar. Cutting the sugar, cutting the carbs. Yeah, not dry January. But it turns out financial experts say this is the perfect time to improve your financial health. That's why we have on your side reporter Christine Lazar with us this morning. And why now? Well, first off, let me say I have a New Year's resolution that you don't have to like stop eating bagels for. Oh, okay. So great. That's, that's great. Probably, that's right. good news. You can do something and still eat the candy and skip the gym. And okay. it makes sense to do it at the new year. When it's it the comes reset, to finances, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay. So, and just look at it as I want to have a better year for my finances. And you can take little small steps, right? It doesn't have to be huge. And it's hard right now to improve those finances because, because of inflation and rising interest rates. But there are steps you can take to boost your bank account in 2023, starting with tackling those credit card balances. Interest rates on credit cards are at an all time high. The average rate is sitting around 19%. So if you have the national average credit card debt, which is around $5,500, according to TransUnion, if you only make minimum payments at that average rate, you're going to be in debt for about 17 years, and you're going to pay about $7,500 in interest. That's nuts. I know. Uh, when you hear that, you just realize how, how easily it is to get into debt. So the best bet is to get a zero interest credit card and roll those balances over. You can get up to 21 months at 0% to pay off the debt. Mm. Other tips, this is a great time to check your credit report. Make sure there isn't anything on there that you don't recognize. And if you have any extra cash at all that you don't need right now, move it into a federally insured savings account. You can get up to 4.16% interest. Oh, the wow. one plus side of interest rates going up. Now, finally, get rid of any subscriptions you don't need and may not even realize you're still paying for them. That's how they get you. I know, you gotta find them. If you're looking to buy a home, interest rates unfortunately are likely to continue to rise and experts do not see them coming down until the end of this year into 2024. So if you're sitting on that down payment, maybe put it into that savings account 4.16 right which is great i mean for a while it was like one percent right, yeah get some extra interest and then you know buy maybe next year and it's funny because when i don't check my credit card statement i'm like oh i just have this little statement and then, and then you then check sudden, it later and it rises so exponentially it, these especially rates. at 19 yes. percent that adds up yeah, and you don't realize that you know that 50 dollars blouse you put on there suddenly is going to cost you 300 dollars yeah. if you're just making minimum payments right yeah. christine thank you for that